Now it's all well and good creating your nice scaled viewport. This viewport here, if I click on it and look down here on the status bar, is at 1 to 25. Now that's all well and good at the moment, I haven't activated the viewport. But if I double click inside that viewport, it's active. And if I accidentally roll up and down, look, that scale is completely out now. It's not what I want it to be, it's not the view I want in the viewport. So what I would have to do there is go back here to viewport scale and set that back to 1 to 25 and then I'd have to pan and not zoom to get the view that I want. That's a lot of messing around to get a view back that what could have easily been fixed by locking the viewport instead. So double click outside the viewport to deactivate it. Just select it once like that so you see the grips, the little blue squares, and you'll see that is currently at 1 to 25. I want it to stay that way. So what I do is I right click and on the shortcut menu here, see display locked, I hover over that and I say yes on the sub menu. That is now a locked viewport. Even if I double click inside that viewport and make it active, you can see there it's 1 to 25 still, but it's got this little padlock symbol, so it's locked. So even if I zoom in and then zoom out, the view in the viewport does not change. The scale does not change. I double click outside the viewport to deactivate, double click on the wheel, that's a zoom extent on the double click on the wheel there. You can see it hasn't changed the scale of my viewport. That's a good habit to get into. Lock your viewports at your known scales. Then if somebody in error double clicks like that and activates the viewport and zooms by mistake, your scale is retained. It saves all of that zooming and panning and rescaling. So double click outside your viewport there to deactivate, double click on the wheel, zoom extents to get the whole of your drawing in your bedroom detail tab in this case.